your girl selena and i am back with another video um if you are new here thank you so much for clicking on my video and if you are old i don't really like to say if you're old because i feel like that sounds weird but like if you have been here before thank you so much for coming back hopefully i have captured your little heart and you're here with me to stay so today i am going to be doing a fun video well i think it's fun because um it's makeup and i love makeup so today i'm just going to show you guys how i achieve these fleeky brows gonna get crunk abraz on fleek the fuck um yeah i'm not gonna make this intro super long because if you've seen in my other videos, I love to talk, so I'm really not going to do that because it's not necessary. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to show you guys what products I use first, and then I'm going to... I feel like I can't talk while I do my brows. I'm going to do my best, but if it just isn't working, then just bear with me so i use two products i use anastasia dip brow um in the color dark brown i like this a lot i've been using it really since i started filling in my brows um and it's funny because i used to just do that like i would just fill in my brows with that and leave it and i really thought i was doing something um and i wasn't doing a single thing because you sh i mean you can do that but like if you want like really nice sharp crisp brows you need to use concealer so i use the nars concealer to clean it up after i have um filled it in so i have a little mirror right here that's gonna um that i'm gonna be looking into but i'll like try to show you what i'm doing so first i use this brush this is also the anastasia um beverly hills brush that doesn't go with the pomade but I think you're supposed to use it, but it doesn't come, it's like sold separately is what I'm trying to say. So this, I think it, the um, the paint rubbed off on it, so I'm not sure what number it is, but I think it's number 12. Um, okay, so I open it up, this is what it looks like. I'm just like very OCD, so that's why <laughs> I'm kind of carved out a little, um, section like the part that I like to use and so really a little bit goes a very long way and what I like to do is kind of like take a little bit like okay you can't really see what I'm doing but I take a little bit then I put it in the cap just so that it doesn't like it's not super harsh because it will be super harsh because like I said a little bit goes a long long way and so then I just start to fill in so what I do, first I'm gonna go ahead and um, brush my brows out. They're not, I mean, there's not like, <laughs> it's really not that much to brush out because my brows are super thin. Um, they're not even that they're thin, they're just light. Um, but I always wish that I had darker brows, so that's why I fill them in so intensely because I think that that looks really cute. So, I go in and I just kind of like follow the shape of my brows. So go like that. Okay, you barely see that at all. And sometimes it's a little bit harsh, but you just keep following. And I don't like to draw, I just do like hair like strokes. Um, until I reach the desired shape but still kind of following along with my natural arch um, and just getting more product from the cap as I go along and So I just follow along the bottom. You have to have something like that. Um, and then I also do the top. This left eyebrow that I'm working on right now has a little bit less hair than this one. So this one takes a little bit more shaping and sculpting, um, which is fine. But 
yeah, so I go on it at the top as well. And I don't, I don't go at the very, very front just because like I want to taper that once I get to the, um, like once I filled it all in, I go in back to the front and kind of like push it up so that like I'm not doing too harsh a polish in the front because you don't want like super, super harsh brows um, in the front because that just looks like not cute. a little bit more because I know I'm about to fill in most or all of it so here once I've created my shape I just go in and fill and honestly the thing is my brows take the longest because I really want them to be perfect um, so it's kind of like I think of it as artwork honestly they don't have to be perfect um, I say that and then like I strive for perfection with my eyebrows because they're like my prized possessions like they're my favorite part of my makeup and and so this is what I mean like up here now that I'm at the front I'm just pushing up what I've already got on the brush just kind of creating that desired shape that I want I'm pretty happy with the way that looks um, it's not perfect but I can fix it once I concealed it's much easier to do so when I'm concealed um, okay so I'm just gonna go and do this one and I'm gonna speed it up a little bit so that you're not watching someone do the same exact thing Okay, and now it is time for concealer. So, like I said, I use the NARS concealer to conceal, and I'm gonna be using two, well, honestly, three different brushes. These are all e.l.f. brushes. I got them from Target, they're all a dollar. Um, and basically what I'm gonna do is go in with the tinier, precise brush see okay my camera's not focused but anyways you get the point so I make sure that it's really flat and I'm just gonna go in into my pot and just pick up a little bit of product not too much just a little bit of product and then I'm gonna go under my eyes so I'm not gonna talk during this part because I have to have a very very steady hand So now I've been under, you can kind of see that anything that like I kind of messed up on is very, very easy with concealer to just go in and correct it. Okay, take a little bit more and then I'm going to go into the top. Some people don't like to do the top because it makes it look like, I don't know, but I personally like to do it. So. And because I've got a kind of like not too much product, but like just enough. I kind of like just bring it in strokes so that I'm not messing up. And I'm getting it really like that precise shape that I want. And so then when I'm done with that, then I'll go in with this flat brush and just kind of blend it out. And then I'll use my bigger fluffy brush to continue to um, fluff it out. But this is to get like precise. So, 
So the reason, and I mean, obviously if you haven't seen by now, I'm not wearing any face makeup. I start with my brows and then I go on to foundation, concealer and all that. Just because as you can see, I touch my, like I rest my hand on my cheek um, while I'm doing this. So I don't want to get um, foundation on my hand or mess up my foundation. So that's why I do that first. And I just, it just works for me. So. But if you want to do this after, that is fine as well. Just in case there's any concealer um, that I might have missed. And that is looking pretty cute. That was weird. But um, yeah, I like the way that this is looking so far. Usually what I do is, oops, drop something. Um, I'll go back in with my dip brow and just kind of like any spots that I miss go in and just like give it a little touch up um, yeah, it's pretty easy I will say practice definitely makes perfect because when I first started doing my brows I, like I said, I thought I was doing something, but I, I really wasn't um, at all. And I would insert pictures of what it looked like, but it was so horrible that I won't even do that to myself. Um, um, but yeah, that's looking really cute. Um, okay, see, y'all, I... <laughs> I just get so excited when I do my brows because they just end up looking so good. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna do the other one quickly. It's, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Um, so I'm gonna speed it up. Does anybody else feel like they have a brow that just like goes quicker? like? This one always comes out the best, but it is my problem brow. Um, but this one, I just, I just never have, well, I don't wanna jinx it now, but I usually can just do it so much quicker. Okay. Now that your brows are done, girl, you are ready for the world. You are ready to, well, first and foremost, ready to put the rest of your face on. So once I've done my brows, then um, if I'm gonna do eyeshadow for that day, then I'll do my eyeshadow. And then I'll go on to foundation, concealer, so on and so forth. Um, close that. But yeah, that was my brow routine. I hope that that was helpful for you. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and I will see y'all in the next video.